I think, yeah, we should definitely spend uh, some more time going back to Stacy's point about alt metrics and, and how to measure uh, these these different activities. Um, but before that, I'd, I'd like to bring in uh, Stephen a bit more on the research excellence framework um, in the UK, um, as it's seen as such a big driver um, of research impact. Um, so Stephen, can I can I draw on your uh, professional uh, involvement? Uh, what counts? As impact, uh, you know what, what, what should be we be uh, really looking at here, and you know for the current ref and for the next ref as well. If yes, there is. I, so I guess the first thing I'd say on that is that is that part of the answer to that question is is not really for me or for the other people who who organise the ref because ultimately it's the panel members who make judgments about things that are submitted to the exercise that decide what counts. Um, and and that they they aren't some sort of distant group that's separate from from researchers. They are the same people that are doing the research. So uh, so if you if you want to know what counts, well, as a researcher, then you need to to discuss with your peers what they think counts and come up with a view because that in a sense that what that's what that's what does count in an exercise like the REF that is led by the research community itself. But having said that, we define a whole, you know, we, we impose a, a whole series of definitions which um, mm. around impact and public engagement uh, and what we're looking for. Um, and those are all, all written down and consulted on and, and everyone gets a chance to impact. You know, I've already mentioned that, you know, the, the relationship between public engagement and impact, we're, we're quite uh, clear about that, that, you know, you need to go beyond dissemination and measure change outside of academia that the, the work has, uh, that the, the public engagement has led to. So it's moving beyond dissemination uh, and getting into the, the change in behaviours or the change in knowledge that people have and, and, and things like that. In terms of, of the, the future of the REF, then, um, you know, I think there's a few things we can say at this point and, and lots of things that are still up for discussion. Um, you know, we carried out lots of evaluation of the impact element of the REF and a sort of top level conclusion from that is the approach we took. So based on, on submission of case studies and the, the sort of evidence requirements that we, that we made in those case studies and so on, m most of that has worked pretty well and it's likely that we'll carry that forward to next time. There's certainly no suggestion that we're going to completely change the way in which we assess impact. But there's lots of lots of things of uh, points of detail, if you like, that um, that we're currently thinking about at the moment. You know, the relationship between uh, what's what's called in the jargon the underpinning research and the REF case study, and how we define that relationship. We're thinking about um, the extent to which cases that have been submitted to the pre previous exercise can be submitted again, where there is additional impact. That's a really important issue, um, and and questions about. Uh, how many case studies should be provided um, for a given size of department or unit. So all of those are live questions. We're, we're talking to people about them at the moment and we'll be formally making proposals in the autumn and consulting on them. So um, that's, the, that's the point that everyone will have their chance to, to say what they think about, about the, uh, the way it, it has worked and the way it uh, will work in the future. Um, and, but just a, a sort of uh, you know final comment on that, that you know, our aim in all of this is to give researchers the chance to showcase the very, very best impacts that they have. Um, and so we're not, you know, we're not in the game of trying to catch people out or, or trip people up. We, we want to make it easy for, um, for people to demonstrate the benefits that their research brings.